So you heard Imperial Pride to you auditioning for him. <coughs> and I heard, pardon me, I heard that um, his, um, his wife, Kamora Lee Simmons, was also involved in the project in some way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, she hooked us up with a great stylist that we work with on the photo shoot. Actually, the, the photo, <laughs> right? <laughs> Black photo. Um, and um, she did, you know, she talked to us about fashion and stuff, you know, because she's so into that, the baby fat stuff. Hair, and, makeup, everything. Right, she tried to, like, help us with the styling and everything, so that was a great thing, too. I think she was also the one who inspired us to write Goddess, the song. You know, because she had a, a perfume coming out, which was called Goddess. So, you know, we were supposed to to write the song for it, for the commercial. So, and that's what we did. And, you know, that's her song. And, and that was actually aired, the commercial? Yeah, like, it was aired. Oh, okay. Okay, and that um, the bad girl was also um, included on a soundtrack of a, of a um, very well-known. Uh, the movie is called Waist Deep. And it's with Tyrese, Megan Good, The Game, and Learn to Say. Right, it's a great movie. I, I think it didn't come out in Europe, but it should have because it was really good. I though. think it's on DVD, but we went to the premiere to, uh, in LA too, and it, it was great. We met everybody, you know, everybody was there. It was, they had after show parties, everything. It was great. And it was in the, like, in the movie, the, our song Bad Girl is in the movie and on the trailer and everything, so that was really big for us. And we hooked up with Tyree, so we might do something with him, too. <laughs> He's currently working on a, um, a rap album under the name uh, um, Black Time, so he's probably still looking for hooks. So speaking of our future um, features and, and guest appearances, like um, um, Jazz actually is, um, is quite fond of Janet Jackson, and um, you're quite fond of um, Mariah Carey, so... Uh, any other uh, mentionable influences or maybe even, you know, other singers you would like to collaborate with in, in the foreseeable future? Well, for me, another influence is definitely Brandy, because, you know, since the very, very first album, which only came out in the U.S., I think, I was a big fan, and I tried to sing like her, you know, look like her. I loved her so much. But there was a lot of people, you know, that we... Well, for me, definitely uh, Coco from SWV. Like, just the way she sings, just her voice. I always wanted to sound like that, but, you know, I have a different voice, so I'm never going to sound like her. But, anyways, she sings, like, I don't know, it's something about it that I love. And Christina Aguilera, my best yes. influence, always, her new album. <laughs> Who I would love to work with as a producer is Linda Perry. She did a lot of, like, paying Christina stuff. I'm, a, I'm also into the rock, you know, rock direction, so I love that. But a lot of people we would love to work with, Scott Storch, you know, Pharrell. Um, I love Craig David, you know. I would love to do something with him one day. So, And I want to write a song with me. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, <clears throat> your style is, um, is American, probably all the way. So, um, you know, you probably know both markets, the German, the European market for that matter, and the American market. So what attracted you to originally to the American market, other than, you know, being fans? It has been all we, like, we only listen to American music, like, since we, like, since we were, like, I don't know, 13? Yeah, we only listen to stuff from there, and... Um, we were never really into the German music, and people had been trying to make a thing in German too, but we we never liked it, and no, we ne we couldn't really feel it. So I don't know, just we always had been looking over, and then you know we always had had that dream, and then I don't know, like when we were 19, we just decided to go, and just. Everybody said, no, you know, we shouldn't do it, and it's going to be too hard, and there's going to be too many singers and great singers. And, and it's true, it was hard, but still, you know, it's worth it for us because we can do what we want to do. And it's, you know, but the first day that we were in New York, we knew that it is possible. It's just a matter of time. If we have the patience, if we have the strength, you know, we just have to keep doing it. We knew that we have a chance. Because we saw that, you know, the reaction from people and the response when we sang and, you know, everything. It just was, yeah, it, we felt this is the right place. We need to come back, come back, come back. And I think it was fine. 